Okay, once in Canva, you can uh, use any template that you like. And next is uh, gather all the images and the pictures that you need, align them on the side and add this Polaroid frame that you can see in the pictures and start inserting those pictures into that frame. I decided to change the color of the borders because why not? And also align those two frames together and put it exactly uh, where I want them to be. Next is I uh, duplicate the slide and we're going to create this hollow square to serve as the focus or the uh, target. And you can do that by adding the shape square, removing the color and just um, make the border thicker. And also I added the uh, triangle to serve as the pointer. Next is I selected all those frames and move back, um, sorry, up and down for a scroll test to make sure that it will fit the hello uh, square that I created a while ago. Next is added a duotone to make all those pictures in black and white. Next that is I change the background into gradient and after that you can see me adding animation by clicking, clicking create animate and moving up and down the uh, frames and I chose smooth for the movement style and click done because I am happy with it. Next is duplicate the uh, slide and delete the uh, path or the animation that we created a while ago and select the uh, image that we uh, focused on the previous previous slide and return it back to the to the original color next is i added the uh, same picture and put it in the center you can see me adding a guy oh, sorry you can see me adding guides to make sure that every pictures on every slides will be on the exact the same position next is you can see me adding a, a square shape because I'm going to add some details regarding the uh, pictures in the picture in the center and also adjusting the uh, transparency. And now you can see me adding the title and I'm going to the uh, quick lorem app for some additional words and change the color of the text. All right, next is duplicate the uh, slide once again, but this time you're going to add duotone to the previous photo that we selected and also add animation by, create, uh, by clicking create animation and move the uh, frames up and down. Click done, duplicate it once again, and then remove the animation that we created and um, change remove the uh, duotone for the selected picture this time and also add that same picture and put it in the cen center uh, add frames change the border sorry the border and change the color if you want and then next is add the uh, details for that same picture you're going to uh, apply duotone for this image and after that create animate animation the uh, scrolling effect animation and then duplicate the slide and remove the animation that you just created also do not forget to remove the uh, duotone for the selected image that you have in the previous slide and as well as putting the exact same image at the center so as you can see everything is in repetitive process and those are duplicating the uh, slide adding and removing animation adding and applying duotone for the uh, selected image and also placing that exact the same image in the center and then the last thing that you have to remember is that um, adding or editing the details for that image so you're going to have to repeat the uh, process 
until you cover all the uh, images that you have for this project. I'm going to leave you the time lapse of this video and then if you have any question, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in a bit. All right, the next is adding the um, match, match and move transition to every slide. And then don't forget to play it to see if the uh, transition and the animation works flawlessly. And then the next step that you can see that you will see is not actually needed but you but i changed the direction of the uh, gradient to cre recreate exactly uh you know my previous work and then uh, after that i also added the uh succession animation for each and every pictures on this project and then the next thing that i am going to do so you're gonna have to repeat that on each and every slide and then we're going to create the title you can choose a different font for this one it doesn't matter it, it depends on your brand or you know whatever you like even the colors as well okay so i'm just recreating you know doing exactly what i did to my previous design and then you can see me adding some shadows palm shadows and shadow leaves you can actually search for that in the elements section and then i'm going to add this manually for each and every slide so if you want to have this make sure that you do the do it on the first slide so you don't have to do it you know manually it's uh time consuming and uh next is i'm going to uh, add some shadows for each and every pictures in the center to give it more depth and after that I am adjusting the uh, time of each and every uh, slides. So for the first slide, I have 1.5 seconds and then 1.9 for the one that has animation in it and 1.7 for those who does not. Okay, just, you know, you can do it on your depending on your preference. Okay, and we're going to test it. So far, so good, it runs smoothly. Okay, and then watching it in a full screen. Okay, it's, um, it's good. And for the final touch, we're going to add this text, which one is for you, you know, just to wrap things up. And we're going to add blur animation uh, as well. So you're going to go to animate and select blur. And I did not touch any, uh, you know, the speed, I leave it as it is. All right, and this is the uh, final results. I love it. I really do. And I hope you do too. And if, and if you find this helpful, please click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Canva design tips. And you, you may also find me on Facebook, 
we can be friends on facebook as well anyway so that's all for now i'm going to see you on my next canva design tutorial bye everyone